Painting a painting is just the last step, the last step in a long process. Research and an awful lot of pre-planning is the key to my paintings. I think maybe the ship I painted the most times is the USS Constitution. It was one of the first ships of the brand new American Navy. During the War of 1812, it really delivered a black eye to, well, the only superpower of the world at that time, the British. The most visible part of my job is doing the actual painting itself. But before I can start, I need to do a lot of research. I study old books and manuscripts and maps. And I talk to experts in the field. I study ship's plans and manuals about shipbuilding and seamanship. And when I get the chance, I like to visit historic ships in person. The Constitution is in the harbor in Boston, and I got a personal tour. The guy took me through the ship into places that the public doesn't usually go. I even got to crawl into the powder room where they stored the gunpowder. It was really cool, completely lined with copper sheeting. And last July 4th, I was lucky enough to go on the turnaround cruise. Every so often, they take the ship out into the harbor and cruise around a bit. So we fired off the cannons, and the fort at the harbor entrance fired back at us. I explored every nook and cranny of that ship. But I didn't go up in the rigging. That's only for the sailors. And back in the studio, I built a carefully measured model of the sails of the Constitution using dowels and paper. So I can move them around and light them in different ways. I also have a model that's a kit that I put together. You can see this is obviously very helpful in painting the ship. I made this little model out of modeling clay of a British Navy figurehead that I used to help me paint that part of the ship. So all that research, all that planning, that comes first. Then I do a lot of sketching, finding ideas. Only after all that do I get out the canvas and the paint and start painting. <laughs>